Hello there. Right now, I'm standing in a cage that goes 900 feet down an abandoned mine shaft. And 700 feet below me is the only known water source for the town that I live in. The town's called Cerro Gordo, and back in the 1800s, it was the largest silver mine in California's history. For the last 150 years, water has been an issue here. But for the past two years, myself and a group of great guys have been getting this water going. It's probably the most common question that I get up here is what's going on with the water? How can we help? So in this video, I'm gonna show a detailed look of everything related to the water source here at Cerro Gordo. Here's Craig, and what we're gonna to try to do is show you guys exactly what the water system is. You know, the mine is way up here, but it comes out here. So this is a winter frost-free hydrant. So when we do shut this off in the wintertime, it actually shuts off below ground. So it will not freeze unless somebody forgets to shut it off. Yep, so from here, we'll go all the way up to the Union Hoist. So this is where the water comes out of the mine. So this PEX goes about 500 feet down, and then from there it's galvanized. And so Craig's gonna go down in there and put in a foot valve. The foot valve prevents the prime from losing prime. There's a little flapper in here, mm -hmm. so it can only draw or suck. Right. And it can't flow back. This, I'm hoping, is going to be our creme de la creme fix for everything. Hell yeah. So this is down to the 550 foot level and we transition to the original galvanized down here. We do have a check valve that'll hold the pressure from 550 up, which relieves a little bit of the, the working tension on the pump below. 700 feet down is where the water begins. Okay. Foot valve is on. Yes, sir. And this, folks, is obviously the water collection area. It's not necessarily the water source. So if we go back this way, we'll show you guys where the water is actually coming from. So as you get back further, you start to see the water collecting going that way. And there, is your water just dripping, drip, drip, drip. This is where all our our town water supply comes from, and you can see that it's it's really not flowing. This is why we can't put a big pump in this system because we don't have the supply to right to refill the pool. This is where all that water from back there ends. You know, you can kind of see it coming in there, drops into that barrel. We think this is about 3,500 gallons, and you can kind of keep a high water mark on the side and kind of keep track of what's going on. But this is all we got. It's not flowing quick. It's not replenishing quick. The reason that we kind of have the system that we do is because of these factors. But uh, if you see something that we don't, let us know. This is a Neptune diaphragm dosing pump. It's good for 600 PSI, eight gallons per hour. We have it set at about 65%. So I'm gonna turn this off, let it pressurize, and it'll start building about 304 PSI. You see the pipe shaking and there's water going to town right now. We'll be back in the morning to check it out. Sounds like a plan. Then over here, as you can see, the water that we saw below is now here. And now we will turn it off here and send it into town. So it is a long journey to get a drop of water here in a town, but uh, it's our best option that we have right now. So if you have any thoughts, ideas, suggestions, uh, do let me know. I thought it might be an interesting update for this month and uh, something we can keep working on.